What's going on, you thriving trunk thrusters? It's another thirsty Thursday. Just wrapped up a five mile run on my during season taper week. Now, this isn't a taper like a meat taper or a race taper. We're not backing all the way off. We're still running 27 miles this week, just splitting them into more consistent, longer runs, such as five, four, five, and then a 10 mile run to end the week. But a lot's been going on. I haven't been active lately. I think that when I say less, I say more words of the loose cannon. But beyond that, a lot's been going on. A lot's going on with the kitchen, I'm trying to work up a few events and get some fundraising going down there. Volunteers have been coming in the door, still looking for more. So reach out to me if you'd love to volunteer in the community, if you live in the area. On top of that, another training opportunity has opened up for me where rumor has it somebody very close to me in the next couple months is going to be opening up a facility where they plan on putting the personal back in personal training and to me it's a lot of what jaded me to the gym business was lack of freedom and the sense of restriction they place around you as far as how you interact with your clients and what type of time you have to spend with them 30 minutes is enough for a good workout. 30 minutes isn't enough time to guide somebody through something that's very important that they're going to be doing for the rest of their lives. Also, with the nice weather popping back, it is a little bit misty. There's a bit of a dew uh, building on my beard here, which adds for a bit of a mystic look for me. However, not what I'm going for, regardless of that. With the weather coming back the way it is, it's important that you don't just run out and step back in to your activities like you've been primed this whole time. That's why you stay in shape. That's why you follow a routine. My three main things to do that I love to do very much, which keep me accountable in my fitness, which keep me healthy, are playing basketball, playing football, and believe it or not, going for a run as dreaded cardio might be to the next person. I enjoy nothing more than waking up, looking outside in the morning, and just going and tackling and logging some miles. It's freedom, it's meditation, it's, it's balance, it's clearance, it's everything that you could look for in a basket case. <laughs> for somebody who feels like a basket case most times, it's everything that you could look for in a therapy session without having to pay for it. It is what it is. I'm most stable when I'm running. But everything that I do to train revolves around those three things. You know, I add some explosivity training for speed when it comes to football or, or basketball. Even marathon running, wanting to uh, up my pace. Endurance training for my muscles because obviously I'm going to be enduring a lot of miles on my legs They need to be strong and they need to be willing to take that punishment on top of that running having a cardio base running jogging walking cycling All these things they all encompass into one and that's why it's important before you come to me Or any other personal trainer or you start any other workout routine What are the activities throughout your life that? you want to you want to do and do well and perform well and i just wanted to drop in and uh give a little update drop a little spice of life there aka knowledge knowledge is the spice of life so i had to sprinkle some of that in there for you other than that keep your eye out for everything great that's on the horizon and keep chasing your goals as always i'm here to spread the health and it's all love